I agree with you though. We should fuck Ohio for sure. Fuck Ohio. Oh yeah, no, we can pretend they don't exist like everyone else does, <laughs> including their politicians. <laughs> That's my opening. So I'll introduce you to uh, welcome to the office. Look, you get this Murphy bed. That's your office. Okay. Oh, right uh, on. I get office. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it folds right back up and everything, you know? Oh, yeah. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Over here is where the Keurig machine is. Oh, RJ. How's it going, RJ? Hey, I uh, I fucked up the Keurig machine. I was trying to make ramen in it again. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Every time. It's okay, Alicia. Yeah. He's he's smarter than he looks. You <gasps> fit in. You're going to fit Thanks. in around here. It's great. I, I hired Alicia because, uh, you know. Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick died. Mom. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, oh, who's oh. this? I'm just talking about you. This uh, is this is Alicia Ali. Do we call you Ali? I don't, we've not gone that far yet. Uh, this is Ali. Uh, Ali Cat. We're calling her Ali Cat. She said no. <laughs> no. I want to be. I want to be completely honest. I thought that was Rick, but you can't blame me. I haven't had my morning ramen yet. Yeah, you're horrible without your morning ramen. Yeah, you don't want to. You want nobody to talk to me until I've had my ramen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alicia, Alicia is actually, I just hired Alicia. I was just telling Rick or RJ that, uh, yeah, I know, wasn't listening. I was just going to to replace you with the dicks that two you're replacing me. Well, you were gone. We assumed you were first, kidnapped. first you kidnap and molest me. And then you replace me. <laughs> Who kidnapped and molested you? He said it was me, which you weren't supposed to say anything. Uh, that was part of the deal why I'd let you go. That actually that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, because I could like yeah. I thought I could hear Rick, you know, like the whole time that he was gone. But uh I just figured like, oh, I guess I just miss him or whatever. I miss you too. Um, but uh, that makes sense that he was just locked in uh Richard's closet. Yeah, I've been watching you. You've been doing a good job. Thanks. Like it's not really molesting. You weren't saying no. <laughs> you were enjoying it. It's the kidnap part was true for sure. Took you right out of your house. Through that door. I'm honestly a little mad because I thought we had <laughs> rules about workplace relationships. Yes, we do. And since you're the expert, what are they? I wasn't going to do anything about it. I just thought they were banned. I'm just, So I'm a little mad. Nobody told me they weren't. Oh. Well, it's not that I want to fuck either of you guys, but I, I'm upset that I didn't have the option and then now learned that I could have. Well, I had to kidnap them, so I didn't break any company policy, really. But you did it here, didn't you? That's true. God damn yeah. it. But yeah, Alicia, it's a perfect first date for you, huh? This is a little awkward, no? Just a little bit, but it's fine. Are you not scared that not, you might be the next person who's kidnapped? No. Um, you can't. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can get out of work for a few days, so I mean. Uh, Private Dicks, the only podcast that has guests on and threatens to rape them. Nah, he just threatened to kidnap. Yeah, it was We're just good. kidnapping. Good. All right, well, it, it, I feel like that had to be heavily implied. Damn. Get the Mounties knocking on your door. If I'm going to rape, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to threaten. Throw, I'll just do it. Throw a Rick mask on her. <laughs> <laughs> An elite team of private detectives. What if balloons are aliens? Like maybe that's the key component we're missing. Cover ups. John's guilty. Mysteries that need to be solved. Maybe Mormons need mountains. Richard, shut up. That's uh, the weirdest opening we've ever had in our life. So oh, I'm happy I was part of it. Yeah, I'm happy you're <laughs> part of it too. I'm glad you like uh, wanted to write an episode. I thought that was kind of fun. So I've never done this before where I just go blind trust and just fucking do it. I told her it was a lot of pressure. Like you got to write a script, do everything. So I'm excited to see how this goes. She's pumped. Wait, you it. don't know anything about this? Nothing. Oh, wow. You've not looked Holy up shit. any of it? No, not at all. Oh my, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I don't even know what this is about. I don't. Oh, this it's going to be great. No, you're hired. I mean, yeah. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is fantastic. Right. This is like how I wanted to do this. This is what, like blindly go into this. It's hilarious. Okay, but like watch that she's like, okay, uh, 83 reasons why the Holocaust wasn't real. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my God. I hope we get, I hope we get something. Oh, yes. But that should be a new series. You start inviting people no. on and they just have to convince us like conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> I would enjoy that. I'm not. That's what you I would say. also enjoy that. But yeah. I would, 
I would believe a lot of conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh no, no. If there is if there is an anti-Holocaust thing, I you, my face would immediately disappear. I would be playing with that at all. <laughs> not 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 in this climate. <laughs> not not with me. Not 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 in this 90 episode deep cancel culture. Anti-Semitism in this economy. Cancel culture. Oh, I'm not scared it's of not about the Holocaust, but it's about a catfish. Oh. And the CIA. Okay. And that's really all I kind of want to tell you right now. And murder, but I mean, obviously murder. Okay. Of course. Yeah. For, why would you come here if there was no murder? And what you guys, right. the whole thing right. you want us to, like, you want us to figure it out as we go here? Like, do you want us to guess a bunch? Yeah, you can. You can try to guess a bunch. All right. I like that. It's already been solved. It's not solved. Not, it's not, not solved. If we yet. haven't. Not if we haven't. Not, got not it if we haven't looked at it. It's not solved at all. Yeah. So yeah. I guess I probably. Need Cops to... said they solved it. When was the last time you trust cops? Yeah. Not ever. Not ever. I love your accent. It's awesome. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, there you fucking blow my mind with the CIA catfish murder. Okay, I'm gonna do my first guess. Did the CIA catfish the FBI? No. God damn. Okay. No. So in uh, January 2012, there was a 911 call that came in. I live in Mountain City, Tennessee. It's about, I don't know, there's probably like 3,000 people here. All right. It's really small. So murder, obviously, already, it's not super rare. It's not heard of. Well, there was a couple found dead in their home. Their seven month old baby was unharmed. Everybody's already losing their mind. Both had a gunshot wound to their head. Yikes. And the man's neck was slashed. Wait, what? What was yeah. their name? <laughs> Rick will figure it out real quick. <laughs> Billy Payne and Billy Jean Hayworth. Okay. They, wait, they're Pounds. both named Billy? Yes. That is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> now, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, but sidebar, my name's Alicia. My wife's name is Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> why i don't know never mind <laughs> she's like hey, hey hey don't you dare i wanted, I wanted to be included <laughs> in the same name notes. fucking talk bad about same name couples all right you fucking bigot <laughs> i wanted to be included in the jokes <laughs> but is this a guy and a girl she's it's not a lawyer she's not a yes, lawyer yeah, a that girl. changes it a little bit right like two girls it's with a the guy same and a name girl. is like higher likelihood than a guy and a girl named billy getting together well yeah i mean that's yeah the cia it. must be involved that yeah. sounds like them <laughs> it sounds like a really good cia <laughs> alias you're billy oh you're yeah billy. that's billy and billy we have them undercover in <laughs> mountain city tennessee <laughs> yeah it's like they they couldn't think of a, a good aliases so she's like what's your name he's like uh, uh billy and she's like all right what's your name uh, billy gene <laughs> <laughs> they uh they were printing passports and they accidentally printed two of the same one, but they ran out of paper. So they just had to roll with it. <laughs> Gene. Oh, that's funny. So slash throat. Did the baby slash a throat? No. Okay. Fuck. Do you want to hear the 911 call? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Wow. This is, this is ju straight to the juice. This is fucking, great. Fucking right. I have all. Wait, OJ did it? OJ. Yeah. No. <laughs> Johnson County 911. Honey, I need a name with bad. Please. Okay, what's going on? Oh my God. There's no call from either one of them. They're white. They're kids. Their baby's here. How's the baby? He's not crying. He's, <laughs> he's awake. Oh God. Do you want to attempt to do CPR on any one of them? They're both dead. It's too late. <laughs> you know she probably meant they're so dead. <laughs> the clarification <laughs> of them being white is fucking killing me. Yeah, yeah they're like they're they're pale, <laughs> but she just said they're white. <laughs> the way she snuck it in there is like, oh, they're not gonna come unless. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, there's a white baby beside a white parent. Oh my god, they're both dead. <laughs> white, they're white and dead. Oh. So anyway, the a neighbor and his wife found them dead. They called the cops. The initial investigation, they said it was a hit. They said it looked like a hit. Okay, I got a question. Like, Did the neighbors go, go check because they heard gunshots? Or No, there was a man. One of the neighbor men was getting his mail sent there. 
Oh, and he okay. had went there with his wife to get his mail. And Billy, the mail, had not gone to work that day. So he went inside to check. It's fair. Okay. Man Billy. Are we calling Man him Billy. he? No, I think to make it less confusing, we should probably call him <laughs> Billy Jean, not. I kept thinking to myself, I need Billy, to come on here and not, not be disrespectful. But no, here I am. The Billy, the male. Is this disrespectful to ask if they're guys? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I sound disrespectful to the deceased because no, I mean, I, I won't bother him. You're fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. If you were anticipating any kind of respect towards the deceased, you you need to pick a different podcast. Because <laughs> I, don't, oh, yeah. I don't think there's ever been a time where we've even uttered respectfully. <laughs> this is our biggest fan who doesn't think that we speak ill of the dead we're doing great i don't know who's editing this shit but you're editing a lot out no we're not uh, see i okay i don't I, I try not to speak ill of the dead unless they have a funny name or they did something hilarious <laughs> i mean but like i'm not just gonna go like good she deserved to get shot that's like rude like, you know what i mean but asking billy name yeah but we don't know yet but, but, yeah we good. don't know she might have. We don't know yet. Yeah, don't feel bad for that. Like, that's not me. Uh, to me, that's not disrespectful. Disrespectful would be like, I'm glad they're dead or like something like that. I never would do that. But No, I don't think you guys. So <clears throat> what we're hearing oh is in order to clarify, uh, we'll do dead scumbag number one and then dead scumbag number two. <laughs> Obviously, the best way to figure out. I don't know. There's a lot of dead scumbags. Oh, oh shit. We got more than two. God damn it. Okay. I'm very peaked. My interest is peaked. <laughs> so I'm going to cut off from the deceased and I'm going to talk about a girl named Janelle Potter. Okay. She's very relevant. Oh, damn. We got a B plot. She grew up in Kennett Square, Pennsylvania. Her dad, Marvin Potter, was a Marine. Her mom, Barbara Potter, worked at HP. They had to move to Mountain City to take care of Barbara's dying mother in 2004. Janelle and her IQ of about 72. She had no friends. She had no life. Her parents helicoptered over her. So Facebook, MySpace, you know, she just wanted to be friends with everybody. It's fair. Socially awkward, you know. One day, Janelle and her mom were at the pharmacy, one of the three in Mount City, Tennessee, and they talked to the cashier. And the cashier, Tracy, felt kind of sorry for Janelle. So she started to try to hang out with Janelle. Tracy introduces Janelle to her brother, Billy Payne, and everybody just, you know, hangs out, they're friends, whatever. Janelle gets a crush on Billy Payne. That's the man. Yeah. Again. And nothing comes of that because, you know, an IQ of 72, you're not going to tell somebody I'll have a crush on you. That's true. Was, sc was scumbag number one the male Billy or scumbag number two <laughs> female Billy? Hold on. IQ is 72. I feel like you're telling everybody around you you have a crush on them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Especially, like, if they brought you ice cream or something. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle was, like, uh, six foot tall. She was real awkward. Real awkward. I feel like I need to show you her picture. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, we always want visual aids. She uh, claimed that people told her she was too pretty to live. What? I have a video from that somewhere. I feel like that's coming we'll up there. soon when that happens. This is Ms. Too Pretty to Live. Um, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Not bad. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like someone who lives, where is this, Tennessee? Pennsylvania and then Tennessee. Are those dentures or is that teeth? Those are her teeth. Hmm. Interesting. I don't want to uh, be being to the 72 IQ lady, but maybe she's not too, like, everyone's too cute to die. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Just because she's... But, I mean, who bullies somebody? Like, that's just... It makes... Nobody says that. I know. It's weird. Nobody says that. <laughs> so, Janelle has a crush on Billy. But Billy meets Billy Jean at work, and they become a couple. Okay. So, things are starting to tie together. You could be bit. with a different named couple, but you picked another Billy? <gasps> I know. How dare him? How dare him? Fucking Billy but I love Billy. Not that Billy. It's hard to be mad at Billy because I don't know which Billy to be mad at. <laughs> yes, all of them. So while Billy and Billy Jean are together, Tracy and Billy hook Janelle up with their cousin, Jamie Kerr. No. 
Yeah. See, I've done confused myself and I have researched this heavily for the last like six weeks. So Tracy and Billy hooked Janelle up with their cousin Jamie. This was like 2010. Wait, who's Tracy? Tracy is Billy's sister that Janelle met at the pharmacy. Okay. It's a lot. No, 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 no. I'm just making sure I'm following. We're, I'm, I'm following. You're, you're doing a great job. I'm, and I mean, that's. And I ate an edible before I did this because. You know. <laughs> okay, well. So. <laughs> retroactively, you're doing a bad job, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go get a liquid death and you'll be fine. <laughs> nice plug. Murder your thirst. Anyway, did anybody ever hear of a website called Topics in like 2010 ish? Topics? Topics. T O P I X. Yes, I have. I don't know why, though. It's in my memory. Why do I know this? It was like, it's shut down. Most popular child porn site. Oh, yeah, that's why. (laughs) (laughs) Totally shut down. You could anonymous post. I think it was probably like Reddit before Reddit. Okay. Topics. Hmm. Anyways, okay. Oh, my God. Do I have to pay the cat tax? My cat just broke in the room. What's the cat tax? I have to show you my yeah, cat. Where you have to skin your cat alive on yeah. camera. <laughs> then yes, you have to pay the cat tax. Oh, <laughs> what's the cat's name? Alicia? Is he on an edible too? <laughs> <laughs> Got great skin. The cat's white. It's a white cat. It's a white cat. <laughs> it's racist if I don't have a black one too. So anyway, Topics is this anonymous forum. Janelle would take it upon herself to go post as other people in this anonymous forum on Topics. I support that. (laughs) I have to get my book back. Also, I read the book. Too pretty to live. (laughs) The lead prosecutor on this case wrote this book. Oh, you really dragged that bitch. (laughs) Not only did I put her in jail for life, I made my hundred thousand dollars or whatever the fuck you make off books. Right, yeah. And I made my the cover and the title the sickest fucking burn I possibly could. <laughs> Janelle would post as different people on topics. Things like, why don't you go back to fucking hell where you came from? Keep on fucking with Janelle. She has a lot of friends that will back her and know what's really going on. All you slut, all you fucking sluts, know what to do is hate on someone else because you all are not happy with your damn lives. This was directed at. She should drop an album because that sounds like a fucking blast right there. <laughs> I was struggling reading through the typos. Yeah, all you yeah. fucking sluts. Goddamn. <laughs> so okay. she's on topics just doing Whoa. this because she's mad at Billie Jean. Born, born too late to be with Billy Jean. Born too early to be an AI songwriter. <laughs> she used like a plethora of online aliases. She would do the same kind of shit on Facebook, but I didn't have access to any of the Facebook stuff. So this is just to like, this is just to fucking yell at Billy Jean. To yell at Billy Jean and her friends because Janelle was jealous that she wasn't with. Billy. No, for sure. I get that part, but like she just randomly is like, you know what? She's gonna be on topics for sure. I'm gonna write a bunch of notes. And if she's on it, if she's anywhere on the internet, it's definitely topics, you know? Like, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. She just thought she <laughs> not there was smart. so much on there. She would get on Facebook. She allegedly made a fake Facebook of like Billy and Billy Jean and would send messages to her Facebook. And tell her mom and dad, oh, these people are bullying me. These people are bullying me. Oh, wow. So she'd bully herself? Yeah. That's interesting. I think that's great that she could have picked anyone. She picked like a bunch of locals. Like I would make a fake Putin. And I'd be like, Putin is threatening to nuke me, mom. (laughs) Please. Please. Can I just have the Xbox 360? Please. (laughs) In the same time, this is all going on. Janelle was having a relationship with Jamie. But it's a secret relationship because her parents helicoptered over her so much. Oh. Like this man went yeah. and bought her a phone and threw it in the bushes at her house and said, you know, oh, hey, go get the phone out of the bushes so you can send me your nudie pics and whatever. Did it work? I have a question. How, how old is she at this point? She's third, like 30-ish. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh... <clears throat> all this happened over the span of like, 2009 up until the murders 2012 
And did you say Jamie is the Billy's cousin or Jamie is her yes. cousin? <laughs> it's a legit question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the town is cousins, Rick. Get over it. Okay. I, Jamie, Jamie so this is, is a, a family cousin. feud type of situation. Yeah. Jamie is a cousin to Billy. Steve Harvey's running around the town back and forth with his arms in the air, throwing cards around. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's disabled. Now, of course, her parents are helicoptering. <laughs> like, yeah, if she's 30 and she's still with her parents, it's because she needs to be with her parents. Yeah, IQ of 72. That's less than Forrest Gump. Is it? The, what was it, Forrest Gump's IQ? I thought it was like 75. Oh, okay. 75 is the average, so she's three points below oh, average. All right, maybe he was a bit, <laughs> maybe he was a bit lower than that. <laughs> <laughs> Or point too shy. I will say when I Google it, it does say that Forrest Gump just has a below average IQ of 75. So, oh no, she well, yeah, might be at Forrest Gump level. There's no way 75 is average. I thought 100 was honestly. I've yeah, I don't think 75 is average. I think it's saying it's below average. Yeah, maybe 75 is average where you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, average is between 85 and 115, so it's really not that far off. I mean, I feel like, but it might must be one of those like cheat scales where like you get a free you know like 40 points if you just show up to the test because it means that you can walk right she's lower on the scale which is fair okay that makes more sense yeah, and 72 is yeah so forrest gump is is 70 so yeah she's less than fucking forrest gump forrest gump's a bad example though because he like influenced all of culture between the 60s to the 90s yeah but he was he was also a sweet guy but 70 through 130 is the 95th percentile so like that She's still in the pretty wide margin of... Yes, but do you look at, like, a, the percentile like that? That's not giving you... You know what I mean? Like, we're if we're looking at, like, yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. mean IQ of human beings in America, I, I guarantee you she falls well below the average... Like, statistically, the person you're going to meet on a daily basis in any interaction is probably going to have an IQ higher than fucking 72. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can do a lot with an IQ of 72. <laughs> well. I think you can enjoy Legos and various desserts. And, and, that's about and making email addresses and new accounts to the same website. Yeah. <laughs> she does a lot for an IQ of 72. So Wait, when did they measure her IQ, though? Like, <laughs> her before this me. happened? Or was she trying to claim, like... <laughs> Her defense attorney is the one that made it public that her IQ is 72. Yeah, so. so that's some bullshit is what I'm hearing. Yeah. We can make fun of her. We can make fun of her because it wasn't <laughs> diagnosed until she was trying to get out of it. So, yeah, fuck you, Janelle. Look, I, nice try. I definitely want to make fun of her. Like, I make fun of her every day. Well, that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Janelle and Jamie, you know, he threw the phone into the bushes. She went and got it. Her parents found the phone and threw it out, but then he bought her another one. See, that's... And threw it in the bushes, and she went and got that one too, so they could continue their long distance, but not long distance relationship. Does he live in the same town? Yeah. So it's like just a hidden, a secret relationship. Yeah. He would come over and work on their computer, and they had computer issues all the time. Because you know. <laughs> She clicks on every phishing scheme. That's why. About the same time, Billie Jean gets pregnant. Oh, God. So Janelle really starts to fly off the handle, but not publicly. She's just doing it secretly online. She kept claiming more harassment. But eyewitnesses say, you know, that anytime Janelle and her parents would see like Billy or Billie Jean or anybody that was friends with them, that these people would just scream at them, scream at Janelle. But it was the other way around. Janelle and her parents would scream at them. She made prank calls. Uh, there was one that said it was about 70 calls in a day of just heavy breathing. Say some Martha vibes. But they didn't block the number. So the caller ID would say it came from the Potter house, Janelle and her mom and dad. She would post on topics about that damn baby. The baby came from the devil. The baby needs to go die. That's uh start threatening babies lives my god that's insane you have to when you threaten people online legally they have to be of the same intellectual capacity as you yeah so. i guess that's true <laughs> fuck you you caught onto that bottle way too fast you piece of shit yeah. hey. <laughs> billy ended up collecting a binder full of facebook printouts things like that janelle going off the rails topics printouts 
he went to his cousin Jamie and said, look, you know, look at what this bitch is doing. And Jamie proceeded to tell him, you know, he would slit his throat. Okay. As one does. And when was this? When when did he supposedly see these messages? How long did he wait? He had collected them for quite a while. This is the binder was like thick. So this would have been about probably about the time the baby was born. So did the, the police found this binder later? No. Not well, I think they did, but I don't oh. I mean, so, yeah. So where's the account of this binder existing coming from? The book anybody from- that really Oh, just the book? Yeah. Oh. If you really want to be entertained, I suggest you buy that book and read it. All right. <laughs> what are the good? What are the good snippets? Everything I'm telling you. I, I thought you were going to follow up with another like Easter egg. I mean, let me pull out my book. You got something. You got something cooking. I can feel it. Well, I needed to get to the CIA part. No, for sure. I like because like I forgot I even said anything about the CIA, but that's like my favorite part of this case. I didn't want to spend too time, much time on the prior. So anyway, after the murder, the investigators are asking everybody, you know, who had a problem with Billy and Billy Jean? The general answer was nobody because they were friends with everybody. Well, somebody told the investigators, you need to talk to Janelle Potter. They go to the Potter's house and Janelle pretty much just plays the victim. She said, I'm sorry they're dead, but they just bullied the crap out of me. They told me I was too pretty to live. Again, nobody says that. Nobody says that. Well, she definitely does. I have another clip I need to find. That'd be an unfortunate life. You're like so hot, you don't deserve to live. I'm close. I gotta admit, it's really hard. Yeah. I think I still should live, but I mean, just to get to that next level, you know, maybe if I didn't wear Adam Sandler shirts, I'm gonna get there. Richard, you're confusing it. You're too ugly to die. <laughs> <laughs> I set myself up so hard for that. <laughs> I feel like I'm too ugly to live sometimes, but Aww. that's true. All right, well, that was just, <laughs> that just sad. turned it sad. <laughs> it's not sad. It's fine. Anyway, this was when the investigators were at the uh, Marvin and Jeff. I don't wish that on nobody. Yeah. How'd y'all hear about it? We heard it on the news. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry it happened, but. I mean, that's all I could tell you is they they have been harassing and living crap out of me. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they say FBI or was that TBI? Did it have like a wrong letter? Was there a misspell in TBI? The... It was the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Oh, I got you. Yeah. I got they you. Needed to know. After that happened, they ended up bringing Jamie in for questioning and a lie detector test. So they took, okay, wait, they brought Jamie in for questioning before, like, Okay, are the cops okay? Let's just the cops believing any of these topics accounts, or are they just like the no. chick is okay? No, they don't yeah. believe any of it. Okay, but you know they have to check everything because sure. they had no there was even, there was no evidence left at the scene except two bullets. Fair. Nothing disturbed in the house. Was there any DNA? Like what led them to? They're just interviewing. They people? just interviewed the family, the friends, and. They decided Jamie would be the one to bring in. Okay. He was kind of the oddball of the four people. He wasn't directly related to Janelle. And sure. they figured he'd be the kink in the chain. And they gave him a polygraph test and he failed. How would you pass it? Yeah. He tells them. Remember when we <laughs> talked about polygraphs the first time? It's not for with Elliot Ness. You're not supposed to administer to them to people of low moral character or something or morons like people with low, yeah, IQs. With low IQ. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, well, it's cause they're fucking fake. They don't work. And they also lie all the time about it. They'll yeah. say like, wow, it looked, it looked real bad for you or whatever. And, and they imply like polygraphs are such fucking bullshit. Yeah. Well, to a, to a really dumb person, they like, like, wow, this thing's so crazy. How did it well, yeah, I mean, if you have an IQ of fucking 72, you probably rarely question authority. Yeah. Sorry, I got a question. Uh, Jamie, is he dumb too, or is it just Janelle? I, you don't know? He so, was kind of socially awkward. If he's dating her, it's either he's really taking advantage of her, or he's just dumb too. Like, you know what I mean? It's one of the two. At the time of this, he was like 38 and never really had a girlfriend. Okay, dumb too, probably. And. That's why they hooked him up with Janelle because he never really had a girlfriend. She didn't really have a boyfriend. And he, she was kind of martha fucking Billy, so <laughs> she's kind of stalking the shit out of him, so. This is kind of crazy. So after they tell him he failed his lie detector test, he looks at 
the detectives and he says, well, is the CIA here? And they're like, <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? Like, what? I'm going to try that if I ever get arrested. I'm only talking <laughs> to the CIA. See what happens. <laughs> this is in a, Canada. <laughs> this, is, yeah, this is a speeding ticket, Richard. CIA, I'm not talking. <laughs> You're drunk and at roadside. <laughs> You're fist fighting a Mountie. Get over here, there, bud. So we asked about the CIA, and they're like, "No, why would the CIA be here?" And he said, "Oh, well, he says he works for the CIA." And then it's like, "Who's he talking about?" They just. It seems like they just kind of played it off because they don't figure out who the CIA is in this until they find evidence in the Potter's house. Okay, so he's just asking them for CIA if the CIA is here. They don't know what the fuck for. Okay. Yeah. Weird. So after, you know, they tell him he failed his lie detector test and all that, he calls uh, Marvin Potter, Janelle's dad, because, you know, polygraph is not admissible in court gotta have a confession so when they call when he calls and he said oh hey buddy did you get rid of everything from bills and he goes "Uh uh-huh so that was really all that they needed and they bring janelle's dad in for questioning but they said bill bill could be anyone this is billy and billy (laughs) (laughs) i have confused myself with the names in this already (laughs) and i should have So now they've got Janelle's dad in there for questioning and he's denying everything. You know, I didn't do this. Somebody told you I murdered somebody. When he gets brought in, that's what he said. He's instantly like defensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It it sounds like Janelle's dad might have a low IQ as well. I don't know. It's not the first thing I would say to cops if I was arrested. That's all. (laughs) I had another clip of it. So this is when Jamie calls the house. And the first part is when Janelle's mom answers the phone to kind of bring you in to how delusional the mother is. Hello? Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. You all right? Yeah. Did it go all right? Yeah. Did you have a lie detector? Yeah. And you passed it? Yeah. And they just let you go and that's it? It's over? Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. We've been praying our hearts out. Janelle, you saw an angel today. And I said, oh, that's good. And uh, buddy around? Fucking love it. I knew it was going to be okay. I saw an angel. But we're good. I have a feeling that that guy has only double-digit IQ as well. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he just really doesn't like him off. Is buddy around? That's all he said. (laughs) (laughs) Buddy's his imaginary friend. <laughs> like I just want to tell him. Buddy's on your pillow with the rest of your stuffies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. 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 So this is his mom, she's called? That was Jamie talking to Janelle's mom, Barbara. Janelle's mom, okay. So she's like, she's special too because... I fucking hate this woman with every fiber of my being. I've never met her in my life, but I hate her. You could always knock on her door. Well, she's in prison. Uh, Okay, well, I kind of ruined that. (laughs) (laughs) Spoiler alert, she's in prison. You could go visit her in jail. That's okay. That's okay. I'm good. (laughs) And Nashville's a long way away. Fair. So anyway, I can't find it. Buddy, Janelle's dad, he uh, kind of incriminated himself with the phone call that they recorded. When Jamie asked him if he had got rid of everything, he said, "Uh uh-huh. So they bring him in. And it took probably like eight or so hours for him to crack. But he says, when you get all these people that want to rape your daughter because she's a virgin and they want to kill her and they have a bounty on her head, what are you supposed to do? They're buying into the topic stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now, Buddy never got on the computer. He was a former Marine. He was a Vietnam vet. He allegedly did CIA operative work. Uh. He was also charged in Pennsylvania with stolen valor. So, you know, take that as you will. Okay, wait, what is K? I'm not American. I don't even know what valor is. Stolen valor is when you claim you have military honors that you don't have. And you can get arrested for that? Yeah. I would call myself General Stoodle for like months. Well, you're not American. Hey, as long as you don't claim to be a general for the United States military, you're good. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, I, I cut good. that off the list. I guess I'm a Mountie now. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. So he fed on into all this shit because Barbara, his wife, Janelle's mom, 
would print off emails that allegedly Billy and Billy Jean had sent to Janelle. Janelle would forward them to Barbara. Barbara would print them out and either read them to him or let him read them. I don't know what she did. So he would get printouts. That's fun. Well, she also thought that once you deleted an email, once you printed out an email and deleted it, it was gone forever. Hey, Barbara, where's my topics printouts for this morning? Okay, it's fucking weird. They're saying stuff about Janelle again. I know it. The buddy finally leave Janelle alone. She said, I get on Facebook and just tell him, leave Janelle alone. <laughs> he gives her like a post-it note. Write this back. <laughs> but he admits he did it. They let him call Barbara. You know, another recorded phone call for more incrimination. And he calls and he goes, well, Barbara, I just, I did it. I did some of it. Well, she says, no, you didn't. You were here with me the whole time. You have to just deny, deny, deny. And he already admitted it. They, uh, the investigators go to, you know, execute a search warrant on their house. They take the computer. They find a gun. They find a ton of guns, an arsenal. They have an IQ of 72. Not shocked. I think between the three of them, between Buddy, Janelle, and her mom, I think between the three of them, they had one brain cell and they fought over who used it. How many guns did they have per person? Oh. Three guns <sighs> per brain cell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, they had enough guns and ammunition from probably a small militia. Why not? America. Yeah, I guess. They search Buddy's truck. They find three trash bags full of shredded emails. <laughs> <laughs> in so the they, bed. They're like, Get rid of the evidence. Shred the emails. Barbara! Barbara, don't print them off today. They're going to catch us. <laughs> Once it was printed and deleted, it was gone. Oh, my fucking God. And he shreds them. We can't burn it, though. Let's suspect it. We don't have fires. We don't really have a fire pit, so let's shred it. I shredded them. They'll never piece this together. Somebody took a month of their lives and pieced together, I think they said, like, over 200 pages. Oh, yeah. Just to see that it's emails they could have gotten five seconds. They were emails from the CIA. Oh, yeah. How would you know that? They're shredded. Exactly. They got put back together. Are you CIA? Maybe. Uh oh. No, I'm not CIA. I'm not smart <laughs> enough for that. So once the emails get pieced back together, whoever had the joy of reading them figured out that hey, these women claim they're emailing a CIA agent, but the CIA agent has all these typos. Yeah. To be fair, on that one, they're the CIA agents. You know, that's like. Is CIA Fair. okay? I'm I'm actually being serious. I was gonna make a dumb a joke about CIA agents being dumb, but I don't actually know that. Is that are CIA agents like top level fucking law enforcement, or is there like something above that? They're not law enforcement. Whatever the fuck they are. See, that's how only dumb FBI I am. is law enforcement. CIA only deals with uh, foreign adversaries. Okay. So CIA would never be involved, and the police know that. They would know that the CIA would never like. Th there probably wasn't a question that could this have been someone working with the CIA, or is it just someone claiming they're working for the CIA? I'm sure that was never even a debate in their mind. But also a CIA officer is just a person they could easily misspell and have horrible spelling. Especially in 2005 when you had the Blackberries and you had to like alphanumeric fucking type. That shit was yeah. fucking shit. When you're sending your kill orders over email to Janelle on a Blackberry, it's hard to get yeah, you know all the letters in there. So. For sure. Yeah. It was like 2010, 2011. So maybe he didn't have a Blackberry. Oh, yeah, it's probably an iPhone by that point. Okay, no CIA agent. I get it. They <laughs> so in some of these emails, the CIA agent, his name is Chris, claims that he was sent by the CIA to do surveillance in this small town in Mountain City to protect Janelle. Uh, oh, okay. So <laughs> she showed her boyfriend this email and was like, look, the CIA is protecting me. And he was like, believable. Okay. He said, okay. Of course. Uh, yeah. It makes sense to me. Yeah. You know what? You need protection. You're too pretty to live. <laughs> yeah. You're too pretty. You're too sweet. Yeah. You're too pretty to live. So the CIA is perfect people to guard you. The investigators are pretty sure, you know, hey, Janelle or Barbara is writing these emails to each other from the same house. Oh, also, the CIA agent used Janelle's email address to send emails to Barbara, Janelle's mom. 
<laughs> she forgot to change to the CIA agent account. <laughs> <laughs> she was just she was letting the CIA use her account so yeah. that they could say they weren't a part of it. She's a patriot. No, it was, it, it, she is. Yeah, it, it takes closer a lot and closer of time. to Forrest Gump every every minute. <laughs> Mama always said emails were like a <laughs> box of chocolate. You never know which one you're going to send. Oh, God. So the investigators, they're like, well, you know, we need to prove that, you know, it's one of these two that are sending these emails. Janelle and Barbara both come to the station and write a statement out, like a long typed up statement because it couldn't be handwritten for them to be able to match it. And once they had that, they had Janelle and Barbara nailed down. With you mean like digital yeah. writing analysis, whatever the fuck they call that? That's actually super interesting that people could do that. Yep. Like I don't believe in handwriting analysis, but I do believe in the the way people type. There's like a pattern and everybody's a little different. You can fucking figure it out with enough text. Handwriting analysis is bullshit, but the way people type. Well, when I it. send and print out my fake emails from now on, I'm going to have chat GPT yeah. mess with the, <laughs> the grammar first. Yeah. And then I'll shred them. Chat GBT, write me a ransom note in <laughs> Janelle, whatever her last name is, fucking handwriting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> CIA Chris. I don't think Chat GPT could even copy that. And we know for a fact Chris doesn't work for the CIA. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. Yes. Okay. But yes, Chris does come back up in this story. Yes. Yeah. We got them getting forensically typing and analyzed. So the cops arrest them now? Yeah, they arrest them now. Oh, nice. I'm going to read you another uh, excerpt from the book. And this was what Janelle's FB bio read, because we love FB. Most everyone knows me in some way or another. I'm a very sweet, caring person. I'm from Kennett Square, PA, but I have been living in East Tennessee for going on nine years. I do miss a lot of my friends that are pretty much everywhere now. I love life and I love to make others laugh. I'm fun and caring and loving and sweet. If anyone needs anything, they let me know. I'm a little shy sometimes and most of the time outgoing, and I love to make new friends or talk to just about anyone. I love my family so much. My mom and dad are my world, and some of my great friends mean the world to me. I'm a good Christian girl. You can email me or IM me anytime. I do not party or drink or smoke at all. Thank you for reading this. Last person I'm talking to. Doesn't sound fun at all. What's the email? What's the let's drop her let's plug her I'm going to read you a Chris email. Uh what's the email address though? So what's the, yeah, what's the address? Them? What's the address? What email address? What, she sent the email or did they put the email address there or did they just no, write she that? Didn't put the email uh, address. What the fuck? That's bullshit. How is the CIA supposed to reach her? <laughs> They have their ways. It's every second letter of every third word, and it comes to something fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like one of those ciphers. This book's all over the place. That they, Are you talking to that person, or, or Rick? There's no way I'm fucking being your Facebook friend if I don't know you. You sound boring. Oh, would I talk to that person? Yeah. Well, that's yeah, not I a good... Would. You would? Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. You, like, if you didn't have any friends, you'd be like, oh, this looks like a person I should meet. All right, I'm looking through Richard's Facebook friends right now and finding the fucking first porn bot and sending it to you guys. <laughs> I don't think I'm trying to be friends with her. I would talk to her. The only Facebook friends that probably wouldn't be real were when Facebook first came out and I was uh, playing Farmville and I'd make fake Facebook friends so I could send myself things on Farmville. <laughs> uh -huh. Sure thing. Farmville. I'm not cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, knew it. See? Whatever um, happened to Farmville? Look at fucking way, way too hot to, to be actual friends with this person or even have ever met them. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, it's my wife, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. <laughs> You're wrong. She is a bot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to unfriend her just so I can add her again. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an email from Chris to Barbara, Janelle's mom. So think back kind of to the Janelle FB bio I just read you. Hi, Barbara. How are you? I hope you are well. Yes, this is Chris. I'm so sorry to hear all of this is going on. I wish there was a way to help you. Or at UCIA, go help her. The fuck? Yeah, it's not threat domestic. It's not a domestic. That's a domestic threat, though. They're not really good at those. I heard. <laughs> yeah, they need to get a foreigner involved first. Yeah. 
get what the low key race like the the thing that people don't think is racist that they say all the time around here now they call all the indian immigrants they call them new canadians and they go like that's not the ra- that's not racist at all if they're new canadians it's like that's super racist you piece Dog of shit whistle. <laughs> yeah it's so bad yeah get a new canadian involved though it's yeah, yeah right and that's what, it's funny when they call that shit dog whistles now, like as if it's supposed to be like, oh, only other racists can hear it. And it's like, yeah, but it's kind of like if dog whistles, instead of making a really high pitch faint noise, they just blurted out the N word. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing really <laughs> subtle about it. It's just we're just, most people who aren't super racist just don't say anything because it's not worth it. You know what I mean? Like it's not bad enough to be like start a fight over or something. But right, right bullshit i got rid of a few family members in russia mind you russia is spelled r-u-i-s-a that's how you spell russia yeah how is it (laughs) that's how the russians do it damn maybe my iq 72 (laughs) and then new york and some others i have shot a lot of people in my work with them i got to a point where they were bad people and i knew it was us or them so i had to kill but I love to shoot now, and killing does not bother me at all. Nice. Chris is a badass, honestly. <laughs> I'd like to meet Chris. Right before they had arrested Janelle and Barbara, Barbara had a picture of Billy Jean printed out and grabbed a hold of it and ripped it up in front of the investigators and then said, no, I didn't do that. Now you don't even know what's on this picture because it's gone forever. They had pictures of them printed out. That's With super creepy. Horror wrote across it. Do you ever think that? Like, do you think there's somebody out there just hates you that much? And they have like a whole room dedicated to fucking gay. 100 percent 100 percent I I I know it. I'm not saying a full room, but I know there's people who are like waiting for the day for like I like I don't really post anything on social media, but like once a year my mom will post like a happy birthday and tag me in it. And I know they're just fucking steaming, like, oh this asshole. <laughs> Who is it? Because I said, I, I don't, I'm sure I got a couple. I just <laughs> went a little bit too far fucking 10 years ago. And Okay. I think that too. I think there might be someone who just absolutely, I just don't know it. I don't know who it is. There's got to be someone though. Just absolutely hates me and has pictures. That's weird. I'm pretty sure I'm universally loved. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't think you probably, you, no, you probably have haters for sure. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm perfect. You. Nah, look at you. Nah, I already looked at myself and realized how perfect I was, so I don't have to again. I hope there's someone that hates me that much. You hope that? Yeah, I do. Where they come to your house and kill you and your girlfriend and leave your baby crying on the bed. No, no, I don't want them to kill me, but... (laughs) Because I feel like that's where this leads up to. (laughs) Technically, Janelle didn't kill anybody. Her dad did. Okay, okay. The mom's in jail. She rips up a fucking photo. Yeah, she... uh, What is the legal... Destroying evidence. Okay. They had a hard time charging them with murder because they weren't directly there. But there's a law in Tennessee that if you, like, conspire to murder, you can be charged with murder. I think that's a law everywhere. (laughs) Well. (laughs) I feel like that's against the law in most places. (laughs) You never know. You know what? Tennessee's ahead of the curve then because I really don't think that's healthy to... Plot someone's demise without it being a real. Like, <laughs> like if you, uh, what was that one case where the girl had her little boyfriend told him to go kill himself oh, yeah. all the times that he did? Yeah, she went to jail. Oh, yeah, facilitating and murder or whatever. Was not so where's murder. Janelle now? Did, did she write this book or just the letter in the book? Janelle didn't write the book. The lead prosecutor. Oh right, trial, right. You said that. Sorry. He wrote the book. He also got into trouble when he wrote the book because he put it out before they could put out appeals. Mm. And I guess it almost caused them to like get out of jail. But they're all Jamie, Janelle's dad, Barbara and Janelle are all currently in prison. No, I lied. Jamie just got out on parole. I just found that out last week. Wait, why is the mom in prison? I need to know motive and I need to know what happened here. Yeah, for sure. I need to know like what's going on. So they're all in jail. I just need to find Jamie on Facebook. But the cops start asking Barbara and Janelle questions. They give it up right away. That like, hey, what? How does that go from there? Like, how do they get the dad involved? How does Buddy get arrested? Buddy got arrested after Jamie okay. took his lie detector test and failed, and told him, you know, Buddy did it. Okay, so yeah. he he basically ratted them out. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, I, I forgot that part. Out. 
Okay, so then what? Why are they doing this? Just because they think Janelle's they're just Billy deserves to be with Janelle? Like, what the fuck is going Everyone on? Everyone was convinced that Billy and Billy Jean, or well, you know, the four of them were convinced that Billy and Billy Jean were bullying Janelle, that they wanted to have her killed. They wanted to have a right. Was there like defense in court? Like this is like us or them, man. We're going to die if we don't kill them first kind of thing. There was no evidence of the people bullying Janelle because Janelle made fake Facebooks. Janelle bullied herself. No, I get that. But so Janelle like let it go to the point where the parents killed them. And she was like, whoopsie. Yeah. Well, she never said whoopsie. (laughs) <laughs> she said i didn't do it well she's not smart enough to understand she actually kind of did do it you know what i mean in a way yeah well, not like she didn't directly hold the fucking gun to the people's head but she created a situation where her crazy parents thought it was a good idea to protect their daughter their 30 year old daughter their 30 year old very slow daughter yeah Man, this one, this is crazy though could you imagine like just from the victim's perspective, what probably went down in the few minutes that they were there. And they're just like, who the fuck is Janelle? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Did Billy and Billy Jean know that this was happening before they got killed? Yeah, they were aware that like she was going crazy online and making all these fake Did they know accounts. it was her is what I mean? Did like, they know she yeah, was doing they, it to the to Like her. the messages back and forth. Did she know that they were like, she was pretending to be them and sending messages and. Or do they just think someone random is stealing our identity and doing this? Yeah. It's not us. I promise Janelle, it's not us. And then Janelle's like, no, they knew all about that, but like nothing could ever be proven. There was different times that different friends of Billy and Billy jeans had tried to get like harassment charges on Janelle and there was never enough evidence. Huh. So they couldn't prove that Janelle was not even 70 phone calls in a day was evidence. You think the police changed their policy after that? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys watch Baby Reindeer? Yeah, it was, it was no. great. Well, no, it's, this is what is. exactly the same thing that happened. Like, to a, like, not exactly, but getting 70 phone calls, 100 emails a day, and the cops just do nothing. So, like, yeah, that's a little, that's fucking scary. He was egging himself on to get it. Like, I don't think Billy and... Billy and Billy were doing that, like getting, like putting themselves in that situation. They're just like innocent bystanders in the whole thing. But it's similar in a way, like police in this, especially the fucking CIA, they should know better, you know? True. True. The quote unquote emails from the CIA, it's nobody in their right mind. I will say that if you look at this from, if you look at this from the CIA's (laughs) perspective, they are still grappling with with failing at 9-11, right? So it's just like a full decade of just, you know, the whole organization being in a tailspin. So maybe Janelle was the answer. Maybe she still is. Yes, Homeland Security higher than CIA? Like, which one would be more prestigious? Prestigious, that's subjective. But if you're talking about in order of law enforcement, yeah, Homeland Security, it depends who the threat is. (laughs) Okay. If it's an American, yeah, DHS is is in it all. So, okay. (laughs) So let me get the perspective. Like, so the dad just went in there one night with a gun and shot them both and slit the guy's throat. Like, how did that happen? He just. The dad and Jamie went down there. The investigators kind of figured it was probably about six in the morning. They went down there and, you know, small town, everybody kept their doors unlocked. So they went in the back sliding glass door and Marvin went and shot Billy. And then he went and shot Billy Jean. She I've always there. lived in small towns. Never once left my door unlocked. Ever. I don't ever leave my door unlocked. So I don't know. That seems fishy to me. Maybe they had a key. Some people leave their doors unlocked, though. No, their this door was unlocked. My town, lots of people do. Oh, to lock their door or leave them unlocked? Leave them unlocked. Oh, that's weird. I know this isn't at all the case, but I, I, I would really love it if it turned out they were actually killed by somebody who was told to go in and kill Billy. And they got in there, and they were both just wearing name tags. And he was like, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Which Billy did you say was doing it, Jamie? Yeah. yeah, he's trying to call, like, come on, pick up, pick up. Fuck. Billy Jean, make sure it's Billy Jean. Billy Jean. He's going out to the car to get another bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wasn't planning for this. So did he just did he bring his whole arsenal with him or just like a couple like one gun? No, just one gun and a knife. So he slit the guy's throat first, or what? Did he just do that to finish him he off? He shot him, and then I've heard conflicting things, you know, different research 
no, 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 I've seen that Jamie slit Billy's throat. Do it. I guess. I You're guess not part of this gang unless Adam you do it. Like, like after he was already dead? Yeah, after he was already dead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. That could be God. why he got out on parole, though, because he only had desecration of a body. He didn't actually do the murdering. And Tennessee feels like someone, or feels like a state that would be very lenient on desecration of a corpse. Yeah. Oh, saying? well, uh, you only <laughs> desecrated. You gave it. You. you, you you ratted him out. Yeah, that's probably the ratting him out is probably the reason. We'll keep you on the streets for the next one you're involved with. <laughs> okay, well, that's a crazy story. How long did they all get in jail? Marvin, Janelle's dad, is serving two consecutive life sentences. Or Marvin and Buddy, the same people? Yes. Buddy's okay. his nickname, yeah. Because he was a buddy to everybody, I guess. Yeah, except uh, for Billy and right. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> they let him right in. That's true. Janelle's serving a life sentence. I believe. And Barbara was serving a life sentence. She had an appeal in 2021 and then she took a plea deal from that appeal where she only has to serve 25 years and she's eligible for parole in like four years. Who's that, Janelle? Barbara, Janelle's mom. Uh, I want to say she's like 70 now. She's running that fucking prison. She's a helicopter prison mom. (laughs) (laughs) You got to grind both sides of the toothbrush against the stone wall and get a good shank. <laughs> Pee in these panties. We got to send them out tonight. <laughs> you said she gets out in how many years? Two? I think Ish. it said she's eligible in 2028. So, okay. So they're all in jail. I thought you said Janelle didn't get any time. No, she did. Oh, okay. maybe I didn't say that. I didn't no, I think you that. said she didn't kill anyone. I just assume that she means didn't she didn't kill get, anyone. No, I, I just assume that meant she didn't get any time. So what did she go to jail for? For like pushing them to like conspiracy or, to commit conspiracy. first degree murder. No, I believe it's not degree. first degree. It can't be first degree. Yeah. She'd have to plan out and actually kill someone for first degree. But yeah, she'd have to do it. But conspiracy to commit. Definitely. Which and here conspiracy to commit is a huge. It's a felony. You're going to conspiracy get can years. actually rise. Yeah. Higher than second and third. Yeah. You're going to get you're going to get a good. Uh, good prison sentence for that. So, like, I, I honestly, what do you, do you guys think? She, I think she deserves that. Janelle, I don't think online fucking doing that for three years, and I don't think her parents should have killed him either. But I'm just saying, I don't think her parents. Is there, is there an interview with her in one of those videos that you have pulled up? I, I gotta hear like <laughs> Janelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the like mom. Flirting I'll with asking like how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how are how, we there's a spectrum her. there's a spectrum where <laughs> where is it i do want to tell you about her mom one more time a friend of mine was actually a cellmate of the moms for like three weeks sick all right and all said right. that barbara was convinced the cia was still coming to get her holy shit what prison was epstein in <laughs> 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 She killed. She lost seat. her shit. She oh my god! She's still people. working for them. She's the Manchurian candidate. She just gets turned on and just goes kill someone, and then she doesn't know what she's doing. She's so fucked up from all this LSD they fucking had to pump in her to be a Manchurian. The CIA candidate. gets Epstein. It's Epstein moved to <laughs> to Nashville, and everybody's like, "Why? Why?" <laughs> Barbara, there Barbara will take care of her. <laughs> I've been doing this shit too long. Good old Barb. I wonder how many other people she's killed over the years for the CIA in Nashville, of all places. A lot of up-and-coming country singers, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I hope, Please say you have an interview with her, because that's awesome. This would be a good one to get the information from, but I'll tell you what, the, I bet you some of the imagery that you see there would be a little disturbing. <laughs> the nudes, Barb. What kinds of things were people saying right. about you? Just that I was a bad person, that I was horrible, threatened to get raped. Must have been pretty scary. Yes. I remember I wrote, That's Barbara. please do not write on Janelle's Facebook. I begged him, please don't do this. Was she trying? <laughs> was she trying to like, like blame her daughter for her do her husband doing that? And that that's what that sounded like to you? Like she's like, I told her not to write on the Facebook. Your daddy's gonna go crazy after I print him off what you wrote. You know not to do that. Yeah, that is a. Uh... It is a bunch of people who yes, I don't so I don't know if they deserve to so when Barbara gets off in a couple of years, we could have her on here. <laughs> oh no, stop giving Richard ideas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know I'll cold call this motherfucker. Yeah. Just tell her tell her you're with the I mean, 
I don't know what the laws are in F- <laughs> or on a Canadian pretending to be CIA, but I'm a Canadian inform- <laughs> information assi- associate from the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from the Culinary Institute of America, and we've been trying to reach you guys for the past two decades. We'd love to do a cookbook with you, Barbara. And this entire, she just loses it. She's like, what? Okay, what were you going to say? You think these people don't go to, oh, wait, there's more. Can God forgive a murderer? A couple weeks before the murders, you had uh, searched, can God forgive a murderer? No, I didn't. That's not me. No, I did not. I don't want anybody murdered. I did not do that. Maybe you know? I don't know. I would hope not. Do you think if you passed that you'd go to heaven? Yes, definitely. And with a clean conscience. I could die right now. I would feel good about it. I would go. I love my daughter, I love my husband, but I would not sit here and lie for them. You wouldn't take a hit for your daughter? No, not me. I love her, but I'm not gonna serve life for her. No. Oh my Two God. indicators of someone lying that she did. She did the double exclamation. So it's kind of similar. Like when Clinton says, no, never. She said her exclamation and she said, definitely. And when she said she would definitely get into heaven, she pulled her lips back, which is like a sign of contempt. So she feels contempt towards the, the, the daughter for making it that she's a sinner. I really wish that interviewer was like, you know, you'd feel good dying today. And she's like, yep. Yeah, uh-huh. No problem. hundred percent. He's like, <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> or even better are you sure and then just put it down on the table in front of me. i'm with the <laughs> cia <laughs> yeah. yeah now i've seen these people now i have what do you, you think they should die these are died you think they should be in jail rj rj doesn't like jail anyway so maybe not should uh, no, um i will say this i don't think they should i don't know about should but i don't care that they are okay that's that's a way to do it i mean like my first thought was they should probably be in some sort of institutionalized care and not prison. But then I realized it's Tennessee. So their prisons are their institutional. Same care. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the, the, the institutional care is just the back of the prison with like a red cross taped on it with scotch tape. And it's like folding over at the corner and then prison just behind it. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's not even, it's, it's just like the sign for prison. It's just it just says institution, okay. and then when someone comes, but when they leave, it just it's prison. I also am joking. I love people from Tennessee, Dingus. <laughs> yeah, that's well, right. Hold on, you love person from Tennessee? No, there's probably multiple Dinguses. I don't. That's true. In Tennessee, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna say fifty <laughs> percent of the population is a fucking Dingus. <laughs> <laughs> I go with you. I think that's probably right. I think Janelle deserves to be there. And I think her mom definitely deserves to be there. But he's the, my favorite that he got. I don't know though. I like, so they only talked about the, the IQ for Jamie and they're Janelle. All, they're all fair. But good. yeah, I don't know. Like the only reason we know hers is her defense lawyer. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. And I understand what the defense lawyer was trying to do, but I feel like you could have someone who, you know, ha- has whatever mental issues they have. And like could say crazy things or do crazy things, but like at the end of the day, the caretaker is responsible for them. When your caretaker's like, fuck it, I'm tired of printing off these Facebook posts. I'm just gonna go kill them. Like that doesn't feel like it's really her fault. Well, I mean, yeah, if, I mean, I think in, in that instance, then like she would have somehow had to have been deemed like incompetent by the state. Like, I don't in, think she's like, that in far other. Off. Yeah. Right. And, and and that's the thing is like, so like, if you're, you know, like, if you're not, it doesn't matter if you should be because she's not. So, you know what I mean? Like, but I, and I think like in a perfect world, yeah, nobody should be in prison or anything because there should have been intervention in this in the first place in that those two people should have had an abortion <laughs> and not had a child. That's no I thought you were going that you almost made me spill my coffee out. <laughs> if Janelle would have actually been involved in the murder, I would agree, throw the book at her. But in this case where she was in the scenario where she didn't do it and there should have been a stopgap, I think you have to be lenient on her. But again, it might just be something her lawyer threw out and maybe she's really not, doesn't have like this low IQ that everybody claims. What I would love to see are interviews or interrogations, I guess, from her and see what came of that and see if 
she immediately lawyered up or if she talked to them, that would be. <laughs> Rick's like, she's too pretty to be in jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's on the cusp. I just looked up when when you I didn't look I wrote mentally handicapped and this is what the answer gave me from Human Rights Watch. I didn't write this. Google how, AI. I said how low IQ is considered to be mentally handicapped. Human Rights Watch wrote to be diagnosed as having a mental retardation, a person must have a below 70 75. Uh significantly below average. If a person's school below, se- below 70, they're considered. So she was on the cusp of like Yeah. That. Yeah, I don't I it's I didn't see man had a low IQ, but she was a master manipulator. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if her mom like gave her more freedom, she probably would have done like she could have got a job somewhere, like a Walmart or some shit. And I feel like Mark Zuckerberg should have had controls preventing Janelle from creating these fake profiles, you know? I honestly that should be a thing for real. Somebody could make anybody's profile if they want to be dickhead enough. Like making 25 Facebook profiles with like people's names in the same town as you should got to be illegal. There's no way that can't be illegal. That's got to be fucking something. But I, but also like Janelle, could, Janelle's lawyer could have just been like, yeah, Janelle claims that she was just fucking with her parents and obviously sending fake emails. They were still her email and her lawyer probably could have just been like, yeah, fucking with the parents. The parents took it too far. Blame the parents. Yeah, I, I don't. I honestly, I don't think she should be. Yeah, now that you're saying you're you're convincing me the other way, I don't think she should be getting the same as her parents because her her mom or dad fucking. Well, I don't think her mom actually committed. It. To be fair, I don't think the mom should get anything. Yeah, I think the mom. You're right. I don't. What is she? Oh, she now covered up. Right, I mean, unless they really she covered up, she shit, helped though, cover right? it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's a slim line because like they can't right. subpoena a spouse. I mean, I guess they could. Con- she she has to sub- she could be subpoenaed against Jamie, but. I don't know. I don't think you're I don't think you're on the mark there. The mom should get something and it should have been an abortion way back when <laughs> she got pregnant with Janelle. You're probably right. When she had yeah. sex with her brother, buddy, mm-hmm. they should have never let that come to term. Mm-hmm. So a takeaway here, guys, is it's an election year. Support reproductive rights and, uh, you know, no more Janelle's. Or if you're going to vote for a prisoner anyway, let's elect buddy. Why we why I okay cool buddy buddy for president? Why not? <laughs> he seems like he's a real go getter. He does what needs to be done. Yeah, he doesn't fuck around. Yeah, he, he's not even on the <laughs> internet. Not afraid to use force when he. I'm gonna protect abortion rights. I'll personally come and have all those fetuses right out of your pussy. <laughs> Trump, buddy, what's the difference? So yeah, so I cool. I'm cool with that. I I thought it was the baby. That's where I was going with the whole thing. That's what my whole uh, theory was. The baby killed her parents, Billy and Billy. and Maybe it did. Another reason to support abortion rights. See? Murder babies. So I feel like, yeah, I feel murder, like... The... Murder babies before they become murder babies. <laughs> that's just a, that's a t-shirt. I feel like... That's, murder... a, that's a hot take. <laughs> murder babies before they become murderers, baby. Yeah, that's what the t-shirt I want. Abortion is murder, and I fucking love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I don't even know how to end it better than like that. Is there more to this case that you want to add to this, uh, Alicia? No, I think that's it. I've got a couple more clips if you know you want to oh, see do. more. Oh, I do. I can always see more clips and places. I've got let's, like three more, so. Let's see them, yeah, for sure. I just love how delusional. Can God forgive your mother? I'm sure. What about you? I didn't murder anyone. You don't have any responsibility for the murder of Billy Payne. I don't. Billie Jean. No. None. No. No, but you hated them after I time again and again. Them. I just disliked them. You hated them enough to tell your father that they were really torturing you, and you must have hated them if what you say is true—that they were harassing you time after I time again and again. Them. I just disliked them. I wanted to quit. I wanted the harassment to stop. I went through a lot with them, but I never wished them dead. I never wanted them dead. (laughs) Janelle begins to cry. Is it real? Or is it just another move in her game of master manipulation? Chris was you. You are Chris. You invented him like you invented other characters. No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Just happened to be from your email, from your computer, with your fingertips. 
No. It was from your IP address, from your email address. I don't think we're going to get into that. She said Everything no, leads so. back to Chris. Chris and she's, apparently and she's created she's not, this scenario. She stated she's not Chris, and that's what she maintains. Do you feel like you had any responsibility in doing this to him? Man, he really, Damn, the CIA is good. He really dove in there to, to stop that from happening to her, didn't he? That would have been hilarious if he was like, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, stop. Yeah, he, he, you're right. He, was, he let it happen for a second longer than he probably should have. Why did you write to Chris that you wanted them dead? I didn't. Yeah, you did. From these emails. Well, you can believe those emails if you want. So who wrote this one? How would I two, know? Two, three. I might have four, wrote, started an email five, that got changed. Six. Well, you can do what seven, you want. I'm telling you. Eight. Nine. <laughs> ten. Eleven page email. Eleven pages. Such a bitch. Mm -hmm. I love it. That's. Where a is this guy now? I've and you write, I will kill if I have to. Not just hurt, but kill. That's not me. That is not me. Because I'm not that kind of person. I'm not evil. Yeah, I, might, I might have started an email, but we don't know. We don't know like a, Our house is like a chain it email. It's like it. emails. We just have emails up. And then people write what they want. And then somebody adds a sentence. It's kind of a fun game. And then by the end of it, there's 11 pages. I don't know what I wrote. I didn't do that. He counted that slowly to those fucking hilarious. It just over top for trying to deny it. Yeah. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Well, I, I Two, don't like it. Four. <laughs> I don't like how he said you wrote it with your, it came from your computer, uh, your email from your computer with your fingertips. You're like, well, slow down the fingertips. Like we yeah, get like, it. You don't, you don't know that. Like you could have said like any, any other, like. Thing maybe she typed wrote. it with her yeah. toes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or like maybe she doesn't like touching anything janelle touches because she doesn't wash properly and uses a pencil to type <laughs> also also plot too pretty to wash too pretty to wash. <laughs> <laughs> i want to wash all that pretty off yeah you go don't scrub too hard it's not gonna be much pretty left <laughs> oh god you got no other choice but okay wait pause no <laughs> janelle and bobby you know you do better than telling me what you did before you tell us. You call me Yeah. Barbara, before you find out from somebody else, I want you to know I was involved in it. I did it. Some of it. I did it. Some of it. Now, wait a minute. If they... Oh, there's so much to unpack here. They... they he... He's in front of the police, called his wife as if like, hey, you didn't know about this. And she still managed to catch charges just because she wrote some email. Like, the fuck? She's covering it up after. And she knew. He knew she knew. He was just like trying to make it look like she didn't know by calling her. That's fair. Guaranteed. These guys aren't smart people <laughs> at all. Like... Anyways, you just never say anything to police. How's that one for being smart? That's what you do. Just shut up. Lawyer. Don't talk to police. He didn't lawyer up after he got off the phone with her. Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to lawyer up after you admit to the only crime yeah, you're interested yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's perfect. That's the yeah. perfect time to do it. That's why you get a lawyer that does this during an interview rather than actually stopping it. Who looks hungover and like he never <laughs> wanted to be there. Yeah, he's like, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm a public defender and I don't get paid enough for this shit. I'm not yeah. going to be on 2020 <laughs> for fuck's sakes or American justice. Hire me if you not only want to lose, but get your entire family thrown in prison. I will fuck up your case. <laughs> Why did they let me here? I obviously smell like tequila. <laughs> I sent an email to myself saying I was their lawyer and the police believed it. Here I am. <laughs> with the law school well thanks for bringing that to us alicia it was nice to meet you but uh uh rick's back and like now i know he's uh he's not i don't have to kidnap him to molest him because he was kind of into it so uh i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to let you go first day yeah, i'm hired and hired in the same day it's yeah hard. no it's it really really awesome that you brought us a case to solve a solved case to solve i like that yeah. I still think there's something yeah. there. I think if we find the Chris guy, Wait, between you and Richard, we'll really tie it all together. Oh. <laughs>
But hey, look, now that I know we lifted the office relationship ban, on an unrelated note, I'm going to go see what Jantin was up to. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs>